and we will begin tonight's healing meditation so again welcome we've probably got almost 15 or 20 on the call so that's great great to see you all um, participating and getting used to looking at different meditations now tonight's meditation i don't know if it is in the um resources vault for those people uh who don't know i've studied all different traditions i've studied uh you know jainism and sikhism and buddhism and hinduism i've studied lots of different philosophies one of my main teachers though was uh lama chodak rinpoche who was out of tibet so i probably um studied under him more than anybody else and so uh, i have a repertoire of beautiful tibetan meditations and tibetans uh practice what they call deity yoga or um uh or tantric yoga and the way they uh practice it is that in order to bring in positive uh mental attitudes into our mind stream like forgiveness like love like patience um we can practice those things out in the world but also we can do it by visualizing a deity so in the tantric in the in the uh, tibetan model they have all of these different Buddhas. There's the Buddha of love and the Buddha of compassion and the Buddha of wisdom and the Buddha of skillful means and the Buddha of long life. So they have all of these Buddhas. And really what they are is they are simply reflections of the qualities of an enlightened person. So if you imagine that an enlightened person is very, very compassionate, then that aspect of his mind, if you personify that and imagine it as a God or a Buddha, then, um, you know, they have this figure, you know, with seven arms and three heads and two legs and holding a jar of this and a rose of this and whatever it is to represent that particular aspect of enlightenment. So that's just a little bit of background. And so I've chosen a Buddha uh, called Medicine Buddha, that is the Buddha of healing. And I thought we would do that tonight. Now, each Buddha has a um, particular um, mantra. Uh, the most common one is the Buddha of compassion. And his mantra is um, Om Mani Padmi Hum, which many of you will have heard. But every Buddha has a different mantra. And so the mantra that I'm going to chant tonight is um, Tajata Om Beja Jay Beja Jay Maha Beja Jay Beja Jay Raja Samutkari Swaha. And that is the, uh, hang on, and that is the mantra of um, Beja Jay, which is the, the, the great healing one or the, the, the medicine Buddha. So Beja J uh, is like the Buddha or the, the great healing one. Um, and then you uh, envision all, all of those aspects. So I usually break to ask if there's any questions, but I'm not gonna do that because of the forum that we're on tonight. So uh, um, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, visualize the Buddha and in a moment I'm going to give you a screenshot of what the Buddha looks like so he's uh, just a normal one head and two arms and sitting in meditation posture and he holds a bowl a sort of a bowl of ambrosia or healing nectar and I think he, he holds a um, a um, uh, a, uh, a, a lotus leaf for healing as well. Let me just do something tricky. So there you can see he, uh, if you can see that, I hope you can, uh, you can see he's a blue in color um, and he, he's in the style of the Buddha holding a sort of a bowl of nectar and uh, for healing and also uh, a lotus and fruits 
uh, healing fruits as well. And um, for thousands of years, Indians and Tibetans, and in fact, Indonesians and Bangladeshis and even Vietnamese and that have all, uh, I guess, prayed to this medicine Buddha uh, when they need healings. So that kind of vibration in the world has power uh, to think that millions of people around the world over thousands of years have sort of uh, pulled healing in from, from this Buddha. If, if you believe it and it's in your mind stream or we are connected to the people around the world, then that will help your healing. Now from uh, sort of a more scientific point of view, we believe that the unconscious mind has an extraordinary power over the healing in your body. And uh, if you believe that you can be healed, then that um, people call it the placebo effect, but it's really the healing effect can actually influence the healing of your body. So if you, if you pray in a way uh, and, 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 and do that to this Buddha, uh, it will bring um, you know, a better response in your body. Now, so what I'm going to do is to ask you to visualize the um, Buddha of healing like this. And I'll leave this one up on the screen. And you can either visualize the Buddha in front of you, or you can actually visualize him. I don't know if you can see me. Let me uh, just go back to the Zoom. Where is it? Hmm. I've lost you. Oh, I see. Uh, so um, you can actually visualize them as a uh, sitting on the top of your head. And when you, you, you pray to the Buddha, he sends light or drops light down, healing all of your body. Of course, it's a visualization. Now, if you're not uh, obviously into the sort of Tibetan tradition, then many traditions you know, have aspects of healing within them. So one is as good as another to me. So if you want to visualize, um, you know, the Hindu God of healing or the, um, or, or Jesus Christ or whatever to do, you know, American Indian or whatever aspect of healing, then that's, that's also good as long as you believe that you're bringing in that healing power. Now the healing also uh, has a vibration and that's that mantra that we set up. All right, so I will try and <laughs> chant the mantra as we go forward. Um, and you can, uh, if you like, uh, join me uh, just humming it or, or singing it to yourself. Um, and after this uh, meditation, if you like, and you, um, I think I've got a recording of it somewhere. So I can actually, if you like this chant, I can send it to you. All right, so. Um, are there any, I'm looking at Sarah, are there any kind of questions that I need to answer beforehand or am I good to go? All right, so I'll get my bowl. When we're ready. So visualize in front of you the appearance just out of blue light, the Buddha, the medicine Buddha appears to you. And you can visualize this medicine Buddha either in the space in front of you or on top of your head. You can imagine him where you're sitting, or if you like, you can imagine yourself sitting on a, uh, an extensive plane with all the people of the world sit situated around you, all sitting peacefully in meditation posture. Now, around the world, there are many afflictions, both mental, physical, and emotional, that uh, play havoc on our health. We too may be suffering from various uh, illnesses that plague us. In order to live the most happiest and healthiest life, then we need to attract that healing energy. 
and the Buddha of Medicine Buddha is uh, full of kindness and works tirelessly to send healing herbs, healing drinks, balms, prayers around the world to help people. And we can pray to that Buddha and pull in that positive energy of healing and whether that's uh, to help with me negative mental uh, processes or healing of the body, the right vitamins or materials and medicines that you need, we can uh, allow the medicine Buddha to do this. And as this medicine Buddha, as we pray to the medicine Buddha, then he sends forth light or ambrosia uh, from his bowl, which soaks every cell of our body, curing us and healing us. And from there, light shines out from our heart and from the heart of the Buddha to touch those people around us, our friends and family, and all people over the world suffering, whether it be from the disease of COVID-19 or the many other sufferings in the world. And as this light radiates from your heart and from the Buddha, it sets up the mantra of uh, the medicine Buddha. Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta om beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta om beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta om beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Taja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva Ta ja ta o beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja sa murkati sva 
Da 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 om beje je beje je maha beje je beje je raja za munga de swa And as the vibrations slowly disappear into emptiness, we can imagine that the healing light of the Medicine Buddha and of our best wishes has traveled to all sentient beings, humans, animals, plants, everything in the world, helping to heal and restore beings all around the world. Our vibration sets up that healing power, which does have an effect on ourselves, on those in the meditation tonight, and all those around the world. Visualize that Medicine Buddha disappears into blue light and then is absorbed and once again becomes part of us for it is deeply within our unconscious mind that we hold all of this potential to heal not only ourselves but be a healing influence to the world around us let the medicine buddha stay part of us and constantly shine that light as we travel around the world Okay, welcome back. If you have any comments, please put them in the chat box. If you have any burning questions, please feel free to do that. And if you want to just contact me at some later point, uh, as I said, I, I do have a recording somewhere. I can probably find it and um, put a link to you if you like that chanting. Um, in fact, I even have a chanting CD with various chants. Um, or if you want some more information, you can either look up Medicine Buddha yourself or ask me some questions via email. Um, any special meaning of the mantra? Well, Beja J Guru just means the great healing one. So we chant that name four times in the mantra. So it's really just asking for um, that Buddha's blessings to come upon us and all other people. Um, Om is always the start of all mantras. It's sort of like what we're about to say is precious. And then Hung is let it be so. That's always at the end of mantras as well. All right, so thank you very much. And um, I am going to now hand over to Dinesh, who is going to take us through a second um, meditation, which is about the various chakras in our body. So off you go, Dinesh, the floor is yours. Uh, I'll try to unmute you, Dinesh. Oops, I think I, I think you, um, okay, and I'll mute myself. Hello everyone, can you listen to me? Is it audible? That's nice, beautiful. 
we will have healing by chakra and color meditation i have practiced this meditation i myself has felt the difference i am sure you too will for thousand of years balancing the chakra is linked with main, maintaining mental and physical well being also through the chakra meditation you can heal your body improve the balancing of your key chakras bring your health and mental attitude into a more peaceful state to make this meditation simple let us stick to the rainbow colors hence the color of your primary chakras are arranged like a rainbow with red at the root of the or the bottom and violet or white at the crown at the top the basic plan of this meditation is to focus on each chakra starting from the root chakra to up then bathe yourself in the color light using your imagination then feel that that color light is pouring out of your each pore of your body and spreading in the world by getting it thousand thousand of times multifold by the time you reach the crown chakra do create a clean mental image of positive energy flowing all the way through your body let us start this meditation like all the other meditations get yourself relaxed and grounded sit in a comfortable position preferably close your eyes and get ready to imagine and experience each chakra number 1 the first one is the first chakra which is known as the root chakra or the muladhara color of this chakra is red this chakra is found at the base of your spine it governs your connection to the wider world and to the fundamental needs for food shelter and stability empowering the root chakra will help you to overcome a number of emotional and physical disturbances focus on the area of the root chakra and imagine the red fire that is there imagine the red color expanding and filling the whole aura and then expanding further to fill the whole room then pull it in and compress it sinking the red light to a teeny pin point as small as you can imagine then pop it it into in through the room size again and shrink it again and pop it again this is the chakra workout stretching the red light and shrinking stretching it and shrinking when you have done it for several times let it expand from the pin point to its normal size let us now come to the second chakra that is the swadhisthan or the sacral chakra color of the chakra is orange the sacral chakra rest below your navel it is intimately involved in creative process it governs both your reproductive organs and your imagination a balanced sacral chakra is essential for coping with the new experiences and exploring the world focus on the area of the sacral chakra and imagine the orange fire that is there imagine the orange color expanding to fill the whole aura and then expanding further to fill the whole room then pull it it compress it sink it to the tiny pin point as small as you can imagine and then again expand it pop it to the room size and shrink it again so this is how let us do the chakra workout stretching the orange light and shrinking stretching it and shrinking when you have done this several time let it expand from the pin point to its normal size in the similar way we will now continue with the each chakra moving to the next the third is the let us come to the third chakra that is the manipura or the solar plex or the power chakra 
color of the chakra is golden yellow. This is your solar plex chakra, sits above your navel in your stomach. This chakra is fundamental to digestion with an important mental and spiritual role. When your solar plex chakra is in balance, you can better embrace the things you experience and understand your place in them. Let us now do the chakra workout. Stretch the golden yellow light and shrinking. Again stretching it and shrinking. When you have done that several times, let it expand from the pinpoint to its normal size. Then you can create a clear mental image of positive energy flowing all the way through your body. Number four. Let us now move to the fourth chakra. This is called as Anahat Chakra or the Heart Chakra. Color of the chakra is green, the bright light green of a new leaf. On physical level, the Heart Chakra, which is located at the center of the cardiovascular system, is intimately tied to the organs around it. Empowering this chakra helps you to balance your respiratory system and blood pressure. An open and balanced heart chakra also allows you to form emotional connection with others. Let us now do the chakra workout. Stretching the green light and shrinking. Again stretching it and shrinking. When you have done this, then come down to the its normal size and you clear, create a clear mental image of positive energy which is flowing all the way through your body. Let us come to the next, that is fifth chakra. This is known as the Visuddhi chakra or the throat chakra. Color of the chakra is royal blue. It is located in the throat near the thyroid gland. This chakra governs the communication and self-expression. It also removes the blockage in the throat chakra. It causes feeling of love and solves a range of many physical issues starting from susceptibility to infection to hormonal imbalances, etc. Now let us do the chakra workout. Again, you let us stretch the royal blue light and shrink it. Again stretching it and shrinking. When you have done this for several times, let it expand from the pinpoint to the normal size and create a clear mental image of positive energy flowing all the way through your body. Number six. Now let us move to the sixth chakra. It is the Gnan chakra or the third eye chakra. Color of the chakra is purple, violet, or indigo. The third eye chakra lies just above the junction of your eyebrows. The chakra is, chain, is in charge of insight and intuition on both the spiritual and physical level. Keeping the third eye chakra in balance allows you to see how the world around you is interconnected and makes it easy to understand. Now let us do the chakra workout. Stretching the purple violet light and shrinking. Again stretching it and shrinking. When you have done it for several times, let it expand to the pinpoint to its normal size and then you create a clear mental image of positive energy flowing all the way through your body. And then is the last chakra, that is the seventh chakra. This is known as Sahastar chakra or the crown chakra, which is situated on the top of your head. The color of this chakra is pale violet or white. In many ways, the crown chakra, which sits on the top of your head, is a business end of primary chakras. When your chakras are balanced and your energy is healthy. The crown chakra shows as a power connection to the wider world. Hence, 
maintaining the healthy crown chakra leads you to the sense of peace well-being and confidence now again let us do the chakra workout stretching the white light and shrinking again stretching it and shrinking when you have done that for several times let it expand from the pinpoint to the normal size then you create a clear mental image of positive energy flowing all the way through your body when you finished giving all chakra a workout slowly get yourself grounded again be aware use a beautiful affirmation that i reset all my fields to their proper size and vibration slowly open your eyes come out of this meditation thank you and namaste you can do it wherever you like thank you again all right on behalf of all of us here dinesh in this friday night meditation on friday morning thank you that was a wonderful uh, meditation i must admit i haven't done the workout before that was really quite powerful for me in yeah it caused an actual vis visual feeling in my body as i did that with each of the chakras so that was amazing so thank you very much um if anyone has a um question for dinesh please put it in the chat box and we will um just stay for another three or four minutes if any of you have any more questions and while i'm waiting for uh someone to to put a question in the chat box um i want to thank you and uh remind you that um if any of you would like to do some meditations with us next friday please let me know i think i have a couple of people that have put their hand up so i'll be um just uh considering whether or not we're doing the um healing meditation again but i'll be in touch with you dinesh did you want to say something no yes just one question uh, is it necessary that we should have this meditation for 10 to 15 minutes or we can restrict it to about 10 minutes what's your feeling what's your experience well i think um that tonight's meditation was really good i think we we're about the mark in fact mm -hmm. for me i could have gone longer mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Really, <laughs> nice <laughs> i generally uh i think that we should do it shorter online but i don't know mm -hmm. that was a beautiful meditation i could have gone longer so um yeah let dinesh know what you think whether or not uh, we could have gone longer or whether we, we should have done it shorter and for those of you that are considering doing online meditations and i encourage you to have a go it's uh, really not that hard and it's um, very fulfilling to be able to do that and um, great practice for when we run our groups further um, yep zoe says definitely happy to go longer so yeah so we only did 10 to 15 minute meditations uh, we might experiment with going a little longer next time so okay we'll try that okay <clears throat> All right, well, there's, there's no more uh, questions on board. So uh, I will close the meditation here. Um, I will stay online a little bit longer, but namaste. Thank you everybody for participating and helping us uh, create a great energetic connection all around the world. And I'll just finish the recording right there. <laughs>